My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. For the last few days, we have been dealing with the notion of average. And today is our lesson number 70. We're going to continue with that topic. There's a word problem on the blackboard. I'm going to just read to you. When the average problem appears, when the, when the problem dealing with the notion of average appears, when it does appear in any of these tests there that you see here, ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, or GRE, it appears in somewhat this format here. I want to see what you want to do with it, and then we'll do the problem together. Do you understand? Here's the problem. I'm going to read it to you in the event that you have trouble reading my handwriting. Here we go. It says, for the past several days, for the past several days, the average, trend, average daily production at a factory has been 70 units. For the past several days, the average production at a factory has been 70 units. Today, however, it's different. Today, the factory, we are told, produces 115 units. 115 units, far higher than their average production has been in the past. As a result, as a result, the average shoots up. The average, average production, average production goes up to 75 units. The average production has shot up to 75 units because of the fact that today we produce 115 units. The question is very simple, very straightforward. The question simply is, how many days was the average 70? How many days was the average 70? What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do you understand? I will give you five seconds to do just that, to pause and unpause the video there is. Here we go. Here we go. For, for the past several days, the average production, we are told, has been 70. To keep our life simple, to keep our life simple, we're going to pretend that the production on every single day for the last few days has been 70. 70, 70, 70, 70, all a bunch of 70. If every single day we produce exactly 70 units, what's the average of these numbers? Of course, if they are all 70, the average is 70. That keeps it very simple. Today, however, is different. Today we produce, we are told, 115 units. And as a result, the average has shot up, the average has shot up to 75 units. Again, to keep our life simple, we're going to produce, we're going to pretend that we produce 75 units today. But of course, we did not produce 75 units. We produce 115 units. So we take our 115 units. We take our 115 units that we actually produce and subtract from it the new average. The new average is 75 to find out the excess, the, the extra that we produce in order for the average to be 75 now. 115 minus 75 is going to be 0. 11 minus 7 is going to be 4. There you go. These 40 extra units, these 40 extra units needs to be distributed among all the 70s. 40 can be distributed among how many days? If you want to give every single day 5 more units, we have to give 5 more units here, 5 more units here, 5 more units, 5 more units. Remember what we learned yesterday and day before yesterday, that average, average is an egalitarian concept. It is an egalitarian concept. The notion of average is that we are looking for a magic number so that everybody is equal. In order for the everybody to be equal, we need to give everybody 5 more units. All the, all the days in the past must get 5 extra units. We have 40, only 40 extra units. There you go. We are done. 40 times 5, 40 divided by 5 is 8. There must have been 8 days in the past where we produce an average of 70 units. That's it. We are done. Now, if you like, if you like, only if you are hell bent on it, we can actually do this problem in a traditional way, in an orthodox way, in a classical way, in a nerdy way, in a geeky way, in an academic way. Only if you are hell bent on it. Are you hell bent? Well, let's do it together then. Just for the learning purposes. Do you understand something? What we are about to do is something would be a sheer waste of time in the real exam. Uh, we need the room, so we need to raise everything here. Let's do it together. So we have whole bunch of whole bunch of 70s, but we do not know for how many days. That's the whole point. Let's pretend it's n days. So n times 70 would represent the total production over the last few days up until yesterday. Today we produce 115 units. So 
So that amount, 70 times n plus 115, represents the total production over the last few days plus today. If we divide the number total, if we divide the total production by the number of days, we should have our average. The number of days is the n days in the past, and plus one, the plus, the one here is the today. These are the past n days, past several days, past several days. I hope you can read my writing. Past several days, and then today is today. And as a result, the average has shot up to 75. There you go, that's our equation, and that's all it is. We simply have to solve for that equation, but solving for this equation and solving this problem in an algebraic way, in an academic way, in a geeky way, in a nerdy way, in a classical way, in an orthodox way, would be, as I said before, sheer waste of time in the real exam. But do it together. Let's, but let's do, let's do it together because we've gone this far. Let's finish it up. Remember, the answer is 8. So multiply both sides by n plus 1, we find 70n plus 115 equals 75 times n plus 1. 75 times n is 75n, 75, 75 times 1 is 75. We have 70n plus 115. Let's bring this 70 over there. 70n, subtract 70n from here, subtract 70n from here. So we can kill this 70n. Let's bring 75 there. Subtract 75 from here, subtract 75 from here. We can get rid of this 75. 75n minus 70n is going to give us our 5n, and 5n equals 115 minus 75. 115 minus 75, 5 minus 5 is 0, 11 minus 7 is 4, like sum as before, and n equals 8. But this classical work, as we already said more than once, was thoroughly gratuitous. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that, but since we have gone that path, we have to finish it up. Let's learn this vocabulary word, shall we? Gratuitous. Where can we put it? G R A T U I T O U S. Gratuitous. Day number 34. Vocab. Day 34. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, it doesn't matter which exam you're preparing for, whether it's SAT, ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, or GRE, just type in the name of the exam. Just, for example, just type in GRE vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words, day 34, and you will see a video, day number 34, where we learn the word gratuitous. Gratuitous means something that is thoroughly unneeded, something that is unneeded, unwanted, unrequired, uncalled for, unwarranted unnecessary. All of this that we did here was thoroughly gratuitous. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.